Greetings and salutations, all you lovely individuals. We are back at League Online. Eric and Mark here with you, and they had it. They had it in the cards. Riot. Everyone's excited. Faker. Hall of Legends. First guy being dubbed in. All these teaser videos. We're getting a full feature film about this guy. All the players are excited. Let's see these cool skins. Oh my god, these skins look amazing. And Mark, it's 500 dollars it's basically do you want an ari skin or do you want a ps5 oh my god the monkey paw of all monkey paws curled up from riot games yes we get the hall of legends for faker yes we get unbelievably gorgeous looking skins and cosmetics and heck even a couple other cheeky ones like the hide on bush uh you know ward skin and everything else love the package we get the introduction videos going through the legend that is faker and going over some of these iconic moments throughout his career really celebrating the player and it all comes crashing down with a 59,000 rp cost and listen yes i know that's the full bundle there's smaller installments you could spend only you know a little over 5k rp and get just uh, the Risen Legend Ari skin. By the way, all the names for these Risen Legend signature is like the best one. It's getting confusing to even know what the tiers of these skins are. But yeah, there's tons of amazing content in here. But $500 is absolutely ludicrous. And then you throw that in with you only have less than a month to even be able to buy this during the event. You know, June 12th to July 8th. After that, it's going to be. It's gone. It's out of the shop, so people are going to be selling their accounts for 25k afterwards when they have this skin. I hope you guys are ready for the fear of missing out. FOMO ramping up big time for this event. Uh, there's a lot to talk about with this one, and we, of course we're going to do that. But one of the big things that I really, really dislike and that has really soured this for me is that it is an event type of thing. And well, okay, you can make an event out of this. You could do you know find a way to do something to make it somewhat limited introduce a little healthy dose of this fomo into it but to make it like this and just just flat out have a statement saying well uh undetermined how you'll be able to get this skin in the future or when or if you'll be able to get this skin in the future after this event that is not a good feeling for anyone how is this supposed to be the immortalization the full implementation of memorizing faker into the game that he has been the leading icon of than to say yep temporary event come while you can to get the faker skin you at the very least have to because you've hyped up these hall of legends events you got to be able to buy it until the next guy is inducted in at least give basically a full year for it to be able to be purchased at the bare minimum outside of out making this something that can be accessed at all times the way it should be for someone like faker for this type of thing not just faker but you're thinking about the other players when we did an episode talking about the type of players that could be in next in line for a hall of legends treatment how many of them do you think want to step up to the plate now after they're seeing their response to 500 dollar top tier package i mean when you're getting 30 percent of the revenue and i know that's that's not just faker that's going to be pocketing that i i thought it was t1 but apparently it's the whole lck that's going to be splitting some of the revenue from this to my understanding that's how it's been worded out is that it is going to the lck it's not just going to t1 it's not just going to faker which besides the point the 30 percent for something like this and knowing how much you're being gouged how much of that price is it doesn't feel like it matches up enough how much people uh, would say i think okay. if if t1 if the lck and faker were getting a bigger cut people would probably feel a little better about spending that much a hundred percent and it would be one of these things where it's of course t1 doesn't need that money faker doesn't need that little bit of money that he's gonna get from this type of thing I don't, maybe if it's a lot of money how much it's gonna cost type of thing but it still would have been something if you knew where that money was going outside of the greedy pockets of riot and more specifically i think as well tencent making the commands behind here because this is one of those ones you don't get this type of greed just off of one dude going yep jack up the price that's how it's gonna be you have to have 
multiple people higher up signing up on this type of thing to put together a price package like this to the community. And this might have been in the works since Worlds. You know, we had the whole faker switches from the Ari skin to Oriana. I bet you Papa Retail was saying, ah, don't worry, we got you. We got something in the works for Ari because, listen, 13, 14 skins is not enough for this champion. We got to get to that. I think it's 15 Ari skins we'll have once this one drops. Oh, my God. And with this Risen Legend collection coming through, now Faker individually has got more skins to his name than the champion Orn has got throughout this. It's game. okay. Nobody picks Orn in pro play, right? We never see him, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, hold on. Bias, to be fair here, I'd rather see more Faker skins than more Orn skins, but I don't play Orn. So that's just the way it is for me in this type of situation. Uh, it's crazy to think that this is the how we ended up in this type of situation to get a faker Ari skin because I think to a lot of people myself we're drinking that conspiracy tea and we're saying okay this had to have been changed up from the most recent world championships T1 wins and I think a lot of people had understood since 2016 any talk of getting another skin another world championship for faker it's been accompanied with the talk of Ari, the champion he loves the most. He has the most fun on, and he has times talked about, got to find a way to play Ari on that world stage so I can make sure I get that one checked off into that category possible for a skin if we're able to win that one. And what happens? He has the Ari performances. You win world championship, and then all of a sudden, oh, we're going to pivot to Oriana, kind of a little strange, a little out of the blue. Yes, Faker's fantastic on the champion. Yes, impactful at the event so not totally unquestionable but i think for sure seeing the way the path went down and landing here at this 500 dollars risen bundle i think that there was some pushing some edging to get us into a position where we had faker on the oriana and now the ari skin comes later. and it, it leaves an extra sour yucky taste when this is all about one of the most humble nicest guys in the history of the game and who has only used six skins ever in professional games a couple of those were by accident basically and to have such a feature thing about this expensive skin be associated with faker i don't like it no and i think usually you know kind of any other guy you could find type of thing but knowing the type of person that faker has been and has shown us over a decade in the spotlight for league of legends this clashes so much with what type of person he is, the personality. I don't think the way that he views his fans, I think a lot of people have seen that through the many, you know, uh, YouTube, you know, videos that have been put out over the time, either from T1, from Faker, other productions, all these things showing just how much he values what position his fan base, his admirers have put himself into and acknowledges the things that they do, the gifts, all the kind messages, all those things. You think he's comfortable with them having to spend $500 on a video game? I don't think so one little bit. And listen, first off, $500, the amount of time I have for games these days, that's like my budget for months to be buying new games, $500, you drop it on a skin. But the problem here is we've seen tons of backlash across all kinds of communities, even not League of Legends community, seeing this $500 price tag and laughing at it. By the way, almost $700 for us Canadians when you convert that over. But uh, all this outspoken, the majority hates it, but all it takes is the minority. The big guys who come in and drop 500 bucks like it's no problem. It's just like Diablo Immortals, where people were up in arms about the microtransactions for these tier 5 gems that you weren't even guaranteed. And then you get streamers dropping 10k on the game. So Riot and Blizzard, they hear all the backlash, but they see the money they get in from it, and they go, "Obviously, you guys like this." I get it. It's the it's the climate that we're in right now with the way games are, microtransactions, all these type of things. And sure, you know what? I'm guilty of it too. Just like anybody else out there, I've got my preferences. I've got what I like type of thing. I'll wail out in a game over here, that type of thing. But you can't have certain things like this happening. And I think one of the big ones, one of the realizations here with the League of Legends community is how egregious and greedy a grab this is from Riot Games to really realize and take a stand against this type of thing. Because you know what? I want to reach out to the people like me that might be a whale in one of these other games that might 
be a whale in League of Legends and identify and say, I want this more than anything. I don't care. I want the exclusivity. I don't want to miss out. I love Faker more than you. I'm willing to put $500 to it type of thing. All of those things. You might find $500 or close to it or whatever of enjoyment, out of value, out of wonder and looking at the skins and having the signature and all these type of things. But I think you need to weigh that against what this type of approval, what this type of check mark, I'm going to pay it, take my money, riot, sends to them overall as a community. Because you know what? They know they're probably not going to get everybody wanting to sign up at that tier. But if they get a couple of them, it's more than worth it for them to put up with the, the poo-poo storm that we're going to throw all about this one from all of us that aren't going to be buying that type of package. And that's the precedent that'll be set going forward. And all of a sudden, you're going to be seeing more and more expensive skins, even when people are up in arms. Riot looks at the balance, the checkbook from those skins and say, you guys sound mad, but you're buying it. So we're going to keep on doing this. And I heard some people saying, oh, maybe this is Riot's way if they drop this price and then everyone gets mad and they'll bring it down 50 bucks and say, we heard you guys, so let's peel it back. I don't even think they're going to do that. I don't think they need to because people are going to buy this. I think outside of pulling it back like three, $200 at yeah. $250. Guys, we're going to knock it down to 475 Oh, <sighs> and again, you and I both know they're not going to knock it down because no. that would be acknowledging that they've made that type of mistake or were greedy in the first place no matter how they massage and corporatize the wording to make it seem like that wasn't the case we all know it riot's been caught with their pants down and seeing how greedy they are in this type of situation and especially one how greedy they are in a situation that did not call for any greed in the first place is one of the most egregious sins of this whole debacle and you know chirp the people who are going to throw money at this as much as you want but really thank them for keeping this a free game because it's people that are dropping this much money on skins which is why leak has been free to play for over a decade i'm just gonna say watch out for them in your games because the problem is not going to be that it's pay to win because all of a sudden they've got something cool looking it's gonna be pay to win because you don't know what you're looking at anymore that's the other thing i want to talk about oh with these gosh. skins some of the changes, some of the UI, some of all these things that you see with these abilities, it is out the wazoo, and it has already been out the wazoo with the type of champion skins that we have been seeing recently. It has become increasingly difficult to keep up with exactly what we're seeing, to know, yes, it's this champion, yes, it's this ability, and then it's this one and this one in that team fight, because you're seeing so many different colors, so many additional effects that you don't remember what exactly or how this could be this champion's ability type of thing the ari the leblanc they're a little bit on that borderline in this package but you combine that with everything else and now the you know signature on getting a turret and oh all that other God. stuff we got you a get, lot going on you get five of these ari skins in some special game mode and uh, you got to turn the graphics down it's going to slow even the fastest computers down let alone when there's other hollow legends that might have equally crazy skins and it's going to get out of control really quickly but yeah Excited to see these level 100 whatevers try and flex in the games. But again, it's it's a disaster. It's a gouge to be charging this much. But people are going to buy it regardless. But that is it today for League Unlock. Eric and Mark here with you beauties. Thanks for hanging out. And we will catch you on that flippity flip.